This war is only just begun. Our survival depends on one thing. Gears follow orders. But I look at you and I don't see a gear. I see something more dangerous. I see a hero. Well, congratulations, hero. Millions of citizens you've sworn to protect might die because of what you did today. I hereby charge Kilo Squad with desertion, cowardice, trespassing, the theft of experimental military technology, and treason. Does that sound about right to you, Lieutenant Baird? and make sure the bastard's dead. Move, Lieutenant Baird. are denied any right to an attorney and may not question the authority of this tribunal. So we can't ask why you're doing this now. At the conclusion of this tribunal, I will issue a fair and swift verdict. Right. Of course you will. Colonel, are we being charged with doing our job? The charges will be defined as I hear your testimony. Now, Lieutenant Baird, begin with the last time we saw each other. Our mission was to rendezvous with a supply convoy, but then things started to go wrong. How exactly did things go wrong, Lieutenant? Gradually, sir, and then suddenly.
Since this war began, our cities have been falling one by one. And Command has no idea who or what's responsible. Well, Colonel, I think I might know. fast as we could, sir. There was no saving that convoy. I heard other units talk about the glowing wretches, but I thought that was just soldiers telling stories. Turns out it's not. Our old convoy had been wiped out in minutes. Never seen anything like it. Those wretches died. They exploded like they'd been drinking out of a fuel tank. I hoped we wouldn't be seeing them again anytime soon. Colonel Loomis, this is Lieutenant Baird. Big problem, sir. Our convoy just got destroyed. Then move on to the Museum of Military Glory. It's under attack. Sir, whatever destroyed our convoy is still out there. Noted, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. Come on, Kilo. You heard the man. I heard him. Doesn't mean I like him. The museum was on the other side of the river, the side the cog no longer controlled. I thought maybe we could slip through unnoticed. Yeah, nice. Kind of reminds me of my old wine cellar. Wait a minute. You have a wine cellar? Hey, look. A man gotta spend his money on something. So this is the UIR sniper rifle. This isn't a gun! It's a comrade. We're not done yet! like they don't want us to get to the museum. It was faster to go through the empty buildings than around them. They were all so... abandoned. If no one here had been evac where was everyone? Ah. 
I classed up. We got a healing canvas! Healing. These grubs seem awfully interested in your museum! Is that all of them? Yeah, I'm down. Grub hole! I've never seen so many grubs in one place before. I know. Let's just get inside. Everyone in the balcony got wiped out, sir. Everyone. Luma sent us. Where should we go? You're not Onyx. I'm Onyx. No, you're not, cadet. <laughs> Stay here and defend this area. The East Wing is getting hammered. <laughs> line of defense for the Onyx Guard. Let's show them what regular soldiers can do, Kilo. If we don't hurry, they're not going to make it! Black Force said they were losing the East Wing. He didn't mention they lost everything on the way there. heard anything else from Black 4, so we're going to find either bodies, or a battle, or an ambush. You! Hold this room! There's something big out there!
hate that feeling. What the hell is that? That's the end of Halvo Bay. There's only one way out of here. Two, actually. One involves dying. Following the Onyx felt like the right idea. It definitely wasn't. Paddock, if you have any intel on that grub upstairs... I do have intel. Stay away from it. Any sign of those Onyx guards? They probably double-timed it through here. Wait! Did you hear that? Oh no! Hell no! I don't do that! Get behind it! They look vulnerable back there! The grubs walked around on two legs like normal people. Can we go now? Please? something that walked around on two feet for a while. What have they done to my Marksa? A sniper rifle with no scope? Ha! Those grubs are real geniuses! Radio check. I got nothing. I could hear voices again on our comm. Nothing too distinct. If we could make it back topside, we'd be online again. Oof. Glad to be out of there. <sighs> What's next? Well, we call in and make sure Control knows what's going on. Kilo to Control! I need Loomis! What is it, Lieutenant? Uh, Colonel, some grub riding a, a, a monster just wiped out every rifle at the museum. Request guidance. Kill the grub, hold the museum. Colonel, Paddock here. This grub. Goraznia, they called him Khan. This isn't Goraznia. My army threw all we have at him. Colonel, what about the light mass missile? Cadet, leave strategy to men with bars. I don't want to hear a word from any of you until Paddock's boogeyman is dead and I can...
the work? It's classified, but there's one here in Helvo. The inventor teaches at the academy. Yeah, Professor Elliot. I worked in his lab at LaCroix before he went military. The missile draws power from refined emulsion. The more emulsion, the bigger the bone. <sighs> Courtesy of your big boom. God. How close were you to the impact point? Close enough. That thing would burn up this entire city. This one's low yield. After the Hammer of Dawn, Elliot stopped working on it. How low yield? Baird, or Lieutenant. To fire that thing, you have to get the targeting beacon. The launch codes, personally activate the missile on site, and get this all approved by command. Control, Kilo here. So, we're gonna get the light mass missile online and use it to kill General Khan. Any objections? <sighs> Works for me. All right, come on, cadet. We're going back to the academy. That's an order. <sighs> cadet Hendrick. I'm curious to hear what it takes to convince an Onyx Guard cadet to steal one of the COG's most powerful weapons. I was against it, sir. That's right. Run to Danny. Maybe you could show me and the army you volunteered for a little respect. I tried that, and look what it got me. I'm an academy cadet. I had to see if my friends were all right. We took the sewers from the museum to the academy. The whole way there, I couldn't stop thinking about my fellow cadets. I hope they held out. was overrun, but that beacon inside Professor Elliot's lab would allow us to land the light mass missile right on Karn's head. Whatever happened here, I know my fellow cadets fought hard. There's no shame in losing a battle. Trust me, I know. to go inside, right? Yeah, find the light mass missile beacon and then get the hell out of here. My fellow cadets were the smartest, the toughest, the best the COG had to offer. The next generation of officers. Karn mowed them down like daisies. What if the lab is busted up too? It can't be. We need that beacon. And that's that. Now where, Cadet? The Institute for Science and Technology. It's just through that door. There's a lab entrance. 
Just in time. Before entering the lab, we needed to clear security. I was still in the system. looks different from the last time I was here. You worked here? I helped test some prototype weapons. Professor Elliot had a crush on me. Oh. Okay. It's not moving. Its restraints are still in place. There should be a button around here. That's our beacon. These units are tough, durable, and they can cloak. You'll grow the level. I thought he could cloak. Not on Academy grounds. Anti-cloaking fields. We'll have to protect it on the way out. Bot, can you take us out of here? From there, we had to follow the bot off campus, and make sure no one damaged him. I've never fought so hard for something that beeps so much. Major, I've got a bird's eye in the academy. A few pockets of locusts, but I have a negative contact on gears. We're taking Troika fire, sir! Evading! Our rotor's pegged! Gotta be kidding! Damn it! No, come on! Yeah. So we're done then, right? Mayday! Mayday! For now, I think. Following a strange bot across what was left of the Academy campus was not how I imagined my day was going to unfold. We hear you, little guy. Hunker down and shields up. Kilo, protect the bot! Courtyard on the way in. We're almost out of here. That's the raven we saw earlier, isn't it? Yeah. Let's scavenge whatever equipment we can. That's all we can do now. Look what I found. I think that means we're in trouble. Yep, that's what it means. There's some gear near the wreckage, at least. you. 
little, uh, flying guy? Someone's got to name this thing. I followed Baird to the Academy to find out what happened to my fellow cadets. I found out. They were all gone. The monster that killed them had to pay. So, Paddock. Are you here as Major Paddock of the UIR, or Private Paddock of the COG? Whichever one you like less. The Open Arms program may have given you our uniform, but you and I remain enemies. Fine. Let's settle this like enemies, then. Hey, hey, hey! That's enough! Stand down. You Garaznis weren't known for treating prisoners very well. I'm sure you know nothing about it. Oh, I wouldn't say that. You don't seem like a man who takes orders. Why even follow Baird? You might say I had an ulterior motive. Growing up in the UIR, of course I'd heard of the fabled mansions of Alvo Bay. But I never imagined I'd see them like this. The grubs tore this neighborhood apart. Your professor lives up here? Are we sure he's still alive? No, we are not. No prisoners today! We need to keep moving. We have a long way to go to Elliot's house. I got a statue like that in my atrium. You have an atrium. We had the bot, but we still needed the launch codes for the light mass missile. Baird and Sophia's friend, Professor Elliot, was the only one who had them. Lieutenant, I think we can get to Elliot through that house. Close to Elliot's mansion. I was beginning to have my doubts that he survived. Enemy spotted! I wish you 
We found a truck. It made a nice bridge. We'd almost reached the Professor's mansion. This professor's mansion, it's fighting back? His home security system. There's no way we'll get past it. So we came all this way for nothing. There's another entrance not too far from here. A uh, friends and family entrance, you might say. So, you must know this professor pretty well. Well enough. It's this way. Mortars! The drugs are gonna flatten that house if we don't stop them! We couldn't get into the Professor's house until we eliminated those mortar squads. Every mortar squad. Maybe it's the best. More flag! Cadet, can you take us into Elliot's house now? Of course, sir. It's through that gate. The truth is, none of us cared how well Sophia knew this professor. But I think we all knew by then that we weren't going to like what we found inside his mansion. I don't think Elliot's alive. He might be, Cadet. Come on. You don't believe that. <sighs> no, I don't. You all right? Hey, his won't be the first body I've seen today. It was quiet in the professor's mansion. The quietest it had been all day. Then, we saw Elliot. This isn't good. But, we still need the launch codes. Try to hack into Elliot's computer. Hello, Dr. Elliot. You have one new message from Elliot Nora. So that's that. I'm sorry. Cadet. He was my teacher, Lieutenant. Whatever else happened, happened. So, what did happen? He was married, with kids. I moved on. Power outage. Outside defense is rebooting. Please wait. The power's out. The bot probably fried the circuits to break into the system. Power outage. 
Outside defense is rebooting. Please wait. Uh, sir? I think we're about to have visitors. Many visitors. Kilo, they're coming in and we need to hold them off. But keep hacking into that mainframe. We can't leave until we have those launch codes. That didn't take long. Power outage. like my job better. Good, because I need you to do it. Keep them off the box. He's gonna be completely exposed. Hey, that bot needs a hand! Do what? Ah! The bot's done here, and so are we. Let's roll. We had the launch codes, and we left. I was surprised. I kind of liked a few of the mansions I saw today. Maybe when this is all over, I'll take one for myself. Who's left to say no? Private Augustus Cole. You've been atypically quiet until now. Oh, listen up. All we gotta do is... <laughs> Assume you actually listen to your crash ball coach from time to time? The crash ball? You're not a fan. Pretend war? No. How are you finding the real thing? I've been more comfortable. Then unburden your mind. Next, we hear the Fionix point. That facility's location is classified, Private. I toured Harbor a few years back. One of your generals was a big fan. Took me on a tour. I think that's all of them. Let's hope the missile's close by. We went on inside. I hope you don't plan on shooting us for trespassing, Colonel. I already have plenty of reasons to shoot you, Private. They don't see any signs marked light mass missile. You know, they really should do that. <laughs> Couldn't tell which way led to the light mass missile. Kept opening up the heaviest looking doors. Eventually, we picked the right one. I suppose we'll know this missile when we see it. Oh, I think I'll take that. The place was huge. I knew finding that missile wasn't gonna be easy. Guess that's the point of hiding it there.
Karn's taken the port. I had friends stationed there. We all did. Mm, okay. I've definitely been here before. Let's head towards the elevator. You might want to send a battalion out to Onyx Point when we're done here. The Grubs seem to like that place. Lieutenant Baird here. Lieutenant, what is your position? Onyx Point. We've just activated the light mass and we're about to... Uh... Not another goddamn word, Lieutenant. That missile is sitting in that silo for a reason. Colonel, you have no idea what you're up against. I know exactly what I'm up against. The grub who killed a bunch of worthless indies. I'd shake the bastard's hand if I could. Then you and your men will die. Lieutenant... Arrest Private Paddock and remain on that rock. Actually, no. Cadet Hendrick, arrest Paddock and Lieutenant Baird if he resists you. This is Omega-2. We're pinned down two blocks from the museum. We need an evac. We're mobilizing, Sergeant. We can have a raven to you in an hour. We don't have an hour. We could be there a whole lot sooner. I'm gonna rescue Omega. That's a coincidence. So am I. It's done. Where to, Damon? Back to the mainland. The gears need our help.
That missile's useless if the grubs can get to it. We can use the bot to seal the door from the other side. The door was the only way back to the missile lab. And now it was shut tight. It was time to get back to the beach. How did you get off that island, Private? Oh, that was the fun part. I'm getting real tired of that sound. Hey, Bach, knock it off! The beach is clear! Stay alert, Kilo. Finish this, Kilo. You people astound me. Getting back out there and fighting, Captain! Sir, they're right outside! Then it'll be a short walk. This is crazy. I'm waiting on you. Finish up. The light mass missile was ready to launch. We needed to find Karn, get the beacon close to him, and fire. And where was Karn? Well, Omega knocked out his cedars at the museum. I figured he'd want to deal with that personally. How do we know the Big Bad Grub is gonna be at the museum? Loomis just announced he's sending every gear in the city to that museum. Gotta be a trap. Or is it just me? We were told the grubs were mindless monsters. But what I saw today, they're not mindless. They're methodical. They know what they're doing. And Karn's probably smarter than half our top brass. We're heading back outside, Kilo. Paddock, I, I hope this victory stuff doesn't, uh, you know. Don't worry. Once this war's over, we can go back to trying to kill each other. Like normal people. coming in. Let's set up a little surprise. Okay, split up. Two left side, two right side. Oh, yeah. 
frag! That was fun, but we need to get away from these patrols. I bet we can reach the rooftops if we head up there. Earlier in the day, Old Town seemed deserted, even though it hadn't been properly evac'd. Where did everyone there go? Now we knew. The rooftops. They thought they'd be safe. They thought wrong. Bodies on the floor. Kill them. Let's hope they died quickly. Sorry about that. I have a strange feeling we're being haunted. Karns probably put some locust bounty on our heads. We're finally getting close to that museum. Karn was sending in his best grunts. I was starting to wonder if maybe he was afraid of us. Almost there! That's it! Come on, Kilo, the museum's close. I'm buying. The museum was just ahead. I knew killing Karn meant sacrificing the bot, sir. I'd gotten pretty attached to the little guy. I guess there's other bots out there. We can't hold them up forever, Control! We need that evac! We're working on it, Sergeant! We've got wounded, Control! We're almost there, Kilo! I can't wait to drop our missile on that big ass girl's head.
That's Karn's personal guard. We don't have much time. I thought if we killed Karn, the Grubs would just stop fighting. I guess this war is gonna make a pessimist out of me yet. Look, Karn needed to die. If that was the wrong call, Colonel, you can go ahead and shoot me. This is my kind of fight! I told you to stay on that island, Lieutenant. This court has reached a final verdict. Any last words? Men like you are why I fought the Kog. We saved a lot of people today. Yeah, including your ass. No final words from you, Lieutenant? Maybe you have a point, sir. We saved, what, a thousand people? The light mass missile was designed to save millions. I know that. But if Karn had taken Halvo, we might have lost a chance to save anyone. Cares. We need to find our way out of here. We should have been out there fighting tonight.
looking at it too. Whatever you want, Cadet. Come on, Kilo, through the door. That raven's not sitting out there because it likes us. Dead and they're still relentless assholes. <gasps> Dang, those doors ain't going to hold. I can almost smell that raven, baby! Come on! that's left of Loomis's grand strategy.
Raven's over to the left! between war and cruelty. War is cruelty. And this one's not over. A word, Lieutenant? That's the last time anyone's going to address you as Lieutenant. I'm dropping the charges, but you'll never be an officer again. Yeah. Why should all these brains be wasted on an officer, sir? Private. <laughs> Never. No wonder I was supposed to keep an eye on you. On me? For what? I guess they thought you might try to steal our military technology. Which you did. Illegally access military technology. There's a difference. Uh, pardon me, Lieutenant Baird. It's Private Baird now. Loomis just demoted me. 
My congratulations. Couldn't have done it without you. I think that means I might be in charge. Huh. Perfect. Cole, do we have this much tension between us? <laughs>